Tony Schiavone interviews Don Callis and Kaneski Takeshita. Wow! <laughs> Best on promos 2023, the San Diego AEW audience. He's booed like you've never seen before. And this isn't cool heat where they're booing to get themselves over. There is no singing going on. There is no chanting for most of it. They just hate this fucker. He's trying to talk. They won't let him. He even turns to Tony and says, what am, I, what, am I, what am I supposed to do? Eventually, he is able to get out that he hopes the booze are for Kenny. He is the real victim here. This, they close up on Takeshi, who's looking around like, holy shit, this crowd hates this bald guy. Uh, Callus blames Kenny for his scar. You destroyed my family, he says. I lost a nephew, but I gained a son in Takeshita. The best athlete I've ever seen. Better than Ricky Dozan. Better than Inoki. Better than Maeda. Better than Muto. Better than Okada. And better than Kenny Omega. And Takeshita rants for a minute in Japanese and says, We will destroy Elite... We will destroy Kenny Omega. And Callis again promises his new family will cut the elite out of all elite wrestling. This was, and I mean this in a very literal sense, unbelievable. I can't believe the heat Don Callis got you here. You see any of the videos on Twitter from fans? I have not. Oh, my God. This was not like piped in booze or anything. Oh, God, like that. no. No. And there's some pictures of angry fans that Dude, there's, are so there's, fucking hilarious. There's, there's shots. Just watch watch this promo and just yes. watch this. There, there's a close up one. Like, the guy's got tattoos on his face, which almost makes me think he might be a plant, but he is just like snarling. His veins are popping out. He's sweating. He may have a, a, an aneurysm right here, but just from hating Don Callis so much. I loved this. He oh. finally got to do that big promo. I hope that this becomes like a Dominic Mysterio thing where every time he comes out on television, he gets booed out of the building like this because, boy, is it fun to watch somebody with heat like this. And, uh, yeah, this was great. He's going to have a family. Yeah, there's, there's more. Who else is going to be in the Don Callis family? I don't know. Hmm. That's, a, that's a good question. It's a good question. A war, though, video package with myself and Arn Anderson. Arn says everyone's giving him hoopla. How about biting a big man's thumb? The guy's going to choke them. He's got a bad neck. He had to do what he had to do. Here on out, there is no limit to how far we're willing to go. And Luchasaurus, if you want some more, Warlow is happy to finish the job. The Gates of Agony versus Orange Cassidy and Darby Allen. We've talked before about like uh, all-time great squash matches, like Kurt Angle and Roderick Strong. There was an Ultimo Dragon one, and then there was a great one... Oh, it was uh, Moxley and, I think, Wheeler, actually, like a year or two ago on, uh, on on Rampage. I think this was the best squash I ever saw where the guys who were doing the squashing ended up losing the match because Toa Leona is a big, big truck of a man, and uh, uh, Bishop Khan has, like, the perfect physique for a pro wrestler where he's really, really huge and muscular, muscular but at the same time, he's not over-muscled like a bodybuilder. This guy can move. He's explosive and scary. And for about 10 straight minutes, they just massacred these tiny little fuckers. They squished them. They squashed them. They slammed them. They bashed them. They mashed them. Just slaughtered them. Skinned them alive over and over and over again. And I watched them thinking, well, let's talk about this heat real quick where uh, Darby decided he was going to do a springboard, kind of like a coffin drop into the ring. And he is in midair and Toa pounced him out of midair. <laughs> yes. And he just helicoptered to his death. There's that one. And then they just obliterated There him. was one, that he, even like a minute before that, he was just, uh, just a high cross to what we wanted to do, but he three to one the guy's size and just obliterated him like a truck going through a picket fence. And then Orange manages to do a comeback with his hands in his pockets. Yes. Against both of these men. Yeah. And they made it work. They did. He avoided this guy, and the big guy ran into the other big guy. Then he avoided this guy, and that big guy ran into the other big guy. It was extremely well done. Oh, yeah. How they made you believe that, my God, Orange with his hands in his pockets is now beating up two giant men by himself. Yes, yes. Eventually, he was cut off. The, uh, the the little guys had to make a desperate comeback working together with dives and double teams to take any advantage they could get. And finally, Bishop eats an orange punch. He eats a code red. He eats a coffin drop. He's pinned. This was a great wrestling match. This yeah. match was absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. 
Like, if you're a small tag team, if you're the Bang Bros, for example, or if you're a big tag team, this is a match to watch, to just see how it's done. Now, granted, you know, this is not a match you bring on the road if you want, like, Darby and, and Orange to be alive. Right. <laughs> but uh, for a one and done, god damn, this was a great match. And it felt like... Um... You know, two, three weeks ago, we had that Jungle Boy Roosh match where Roosh ate him alive and they gave him a flute pin in the end. And we talked about, well, wow, Darby, uh, our Jungle Boy came out of that looking much worse than he did going in. This was not that. This felt like what I think they were trying to do with Roosh, where the underdogs, even though they're higher on the card, you look at these this match, visually they're huge underdogs. They survived everything these monsters had to offer, working together, outsmarted and outmaneuvered them, and found a way to win, and it was a dominant win. Yeah, it's it, not, it, it, that's the key. They didn't find a way to win. They used their moves, and they won. It, they used the code red. They used dives to the outside. Darby hit his finisher yes. for the win. Mm -hmm. The Jungle Boy thing was... He got it would be exactly like this match, get killed and killed and killed and killed and killed. And then, you know, the heels slip on a banana peel and one of the baby faces pins him like with the feet on the ropes or something like sure. that. Sure, yeah, actually. I mean, it's... you know, this got them over because they survived this doom to dominantly yes. win. In the end, they were the better team. Yes. yes. Jungle Boy, this poor guy, he got absolutely obliterated. And, you know, actually the other thing too is you know, they beat these guys up for a long time, but these guys also had an extended comeback. And Jungle Boy did not get this big, long, extended comeback. He absolutely did not. And then he won with a roll-up after the referee had pulled a guy away because the guy was about to kill Jungle Boy with a violent beating in the corner. So two completely different outcomes just by the way that they did the finishes of those two matches. This plaque... I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh-oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh, my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented oh, to F4W Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey. out there. Uh oh. Hey! Uh -oh. What are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show! Oh no. Dom! Oreo! Hit that music, brother! Ah, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday, it's dance party. Hey. When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.